Are you tired of stumbling in the dark for a light switch or wishing your home was just smarter? What if I told you that for just $5, you can automate your home without relying on the cloud? No subscription, no privacy risk, just smart local automation. In this video, we will explore five DIY smart home projects that you can build today, each costing just around $5. So the first project is a game changer for home automation a human presence sensor using LD2410 or LD2420 radar module. Now, unlike motion sensors, this can detect even subtle moments, making it perfect for bathrooms, bedrooms, or even security setups. And the best part, it integrates seamlessly with Home Assistant for truly smart automation. Now, this is all you need for this project, our LD2410 sensor or LD2420 MM wave sensor, our ESP32C3 Super Mini, or you can use any cheap ESP8266 uh, microcontroller, custom 3D printed case, and that's it. That's all you need to build a human presence sensor that detects human movement and human presence and enables you to set up smart automation in your home. Now for the complete guide and step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this and integrate with Home Assistant for smart home automation, follow the complete video guide. The link is in the description and it will also appear right here. Next up, we are going to create a smart switch that you can control both online and offline. It works locally. So if there's no internet, no problem, you will still be able to control those switches and lights using your smartphone and it integrates very well with Home Assistant. What's more is that you can also control this smart switch using Alexa voice control. You can also integrate this with Siri using HomeKit and then control it via Siri. To watch the complete guide and step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this, you can follow the link in the description or again, click on this card. Now, once this smart switch is integrated with Home Assistant, you can do a lot more many things. Do you remember the human presence sensor that we talked about earlier? You can create automation based on those sensor values and control or trigger this switch to automate any appliance or device. The things you will need for making this smart switch is our ESP01 relay module, our 220 volt to 5 volt power supply, and our 3D printed case, some wires, and that's it. So go ahead. Follow the link in the description and watch that complete guide to build your own Alexa voice control and locally controlled smart switch. Now, next project is of DIY RFID smart door lock system. Have you ever dreamed of unlocking your door with a credit card or RFID tag? You must have heard it and you must have used it in your offices and you can build this for just $5. And this RFID system integrates very well with Home Assistant for personalized automations. Now, most RFID door lock systems are available in the market and they are very easily available. But the problem is that they are hackable. Anyone with the access of that module can trigger the lock and unlock your door. But the one we are building is unhackable because we are keeping the sensor and the microcontroller away from each other using some wires. So even if somebody has access to the sensor, they won't be able to trigger our door lock unless they are some like black hat or white hat hacker. But yeah, to build this project, again, you will need a ESP8266 chip or any ESP32 chip, a PN532 RFID module, a relay module, and a 3D printed case maybe. Even if you don't have, you can enclose this in any of like plastic module or a cardboard module that will also work. Now to learn more about step-by-step -step instructions, how to build this smart RFID door lock system, you can follow the link in the description or click here to watch that complete guide. We have already created that video and you will be able to make it in just a few minutes. It won't take much time. It's all like modular. So yeah, go ahead and have fun. Now the next project is our DIY $5 rotary switch to adjust and control Wi-Fi light brightness and fan speed. So if you want precise control over your lights, for example, if you have LED strips installed and you want to dim those, you can use this smart DIY rotary switch to fine tune brightness and even colors if you have smart bulbs or a smart lights. 
which are integrated into Home Assistant. Now, most rotary switches that are available in the market are expensive and rely on cloud connections and work within that ecosystem. But the one we are building can control any smart light which can integrate with Home Assistant and they can be controlled locally without any dependency on the internet. Now, it's also perfect for the elderly and non-tech savvy individuals because this makes smart lights easy to use. So any smart light or any smart bulb that is integrated into Home Assistant or any smart strip integrated into Home Assistant, which is 2A compatible or like you have made it, you can control all of them using Home Assistant using this $5 rotary encoder now the things you will need for this is esp32 c3 super mini or any esp8266 chip a rotary encoder this is very cheap and a 3d printed case all the links are given in the description to learn the step-by-step -step instructions on how to go about it how to build it and integrate with home assistant for smart home automations you can follow the link given in the description or click here to watch that complete video. Now the fifth project is a motion sensor. Remember we talked about building a DIY smart switch. You can build a DIY motion sensor which is powered by battery and it can help you automate or trigger those smart switches. So once those smart switches are installed, you can build this motion sensor and this is battery powered or you can provide it power directly using USB cable and install it at places where you have installed the switch. This system works wirelessly. So anyone moves around this sensor, the sensor senses that sensor trigger to Home Assistant via MQTT. It triggers the automation that we set up in Home Assistant. We have talked about this in detail in one of our video that we have already uploaded. So go and watch that video. The things you will need for this is a ESP8266 module, a PIR sensor SR602 and a battery. That's all you need to build this wireless motion sensor that you can install at any place. This works for a month and more than that based on number of time you trigger it. Then you can easily charge the battery and connect it again and install it where it was. So to watch that complete guide and learn the step-by-step -step instructions we have covered that in very detail. So go ahead, watch that. The link is in the description or you can click on this card. And that's it. Five easy DIY smart home projects, each under $5. But we are just getting started. We have more exciting projects coming up like a $5 smart energy monitoring device that can make your electricity meter smart. Not directly, but yeah, indirectly. Also tell us which project are you trying first? and tell me what smart home project you would like to see next in the comments down below. I might build it in an upcoming video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.